From 2017, the landscape for the sugar industry is going to be different, and we're at a crucial point in the road towards that date now. Three companies have said they want to sell all the sugar coming out of their mills themselves, not just their share as millers, they want to sell the growers' share as well. Cane Growers is arguing for a different outcome, a better way. I'm Nerily, and with Cane Growers Head Economics Warren Mails, I'm going to go through this document called Pathways to Market for Grower Economic Interest Sugar. Nerily, the milling companies have put forward their plans, but this industry has two important sectors. Growers also have a plan. It shares the risks and rewards, makes sure that every transaction is transparent And most importantly, it provides growers with real choice over who sells and prices their share of the sugar. That's what we call Grower Economic Interest Sugar, or GEI Sugar. Okay, so let's start at the left-hand side of this plan with the growers' circle, supplying cane to the mill companies. Cane supply agreements have always set out the terms under which growers supply cane to a mill and are paid. The price of cane is very clearly linked to the price of sugar. We need to see some changes going forward. For example, GEI sugar needs to be written into the agreements. So once the cane's crushed and it comes out of the mill, there's only one big pile of sugar, but growers have a really strong economic interest in it. They do. Cane payments to growers account for two-thirds of the proceeds of the sale of that pile of sugar. CSAs should guarantee that all mills offer the full range of QSL pricing options to all growers and they should also give growers the choice of either QSL or their mill to sell that GEI sugar. So from the mills, the sugar under this proposal all goes to QSL? That's right. The Raw Sugar Supply Agreement sets out the terms under which mills supply raw sugar to QSL. The RSSA already defines GEI sugar but it also needs to spell out in black and white the right of growers to nominate who markets it. Why is keeping QSL part of the picture so important? Just as mills have a choice in how their sugar is sold, Cane Growers is looking to ensure that growers have that same choice about GEI sugar. Marketing must be a transparent process that works to the benefit of both growers and millers. Under this plan, growers will have confidence that they're getting the full and fair value of their GEI sugar. So with QSL in the picture, there's options, choice in how sugar gets to export customers and how the millers and growers make money from their share of the sugar. Yes, growers would have the choice of GEI sugar being sold either by the mill they supply or by QSL. So to recap? Future cane supply agreements would contain grower rights over GEI sugar and, under this cane growers model, the central principle is that growers decide who sells their sugar.